Drought conditions in North Dakota this year have affected wetland and upland nesting habitat for waterfall. Duck production is going to be down quite a bit as a result of that. So hunters are going to be encountering uh, flocks that are made up mostly of adult birds uh, compared to usual. Duck numbers are still quite high, but below what hunters have seen in recent years. Uh, we're still at long-term averages for duck abundance, but again, production is going to be low. So as, as a whole, uh, hunters are going to encounter fewer ducks this fall. The push of migrating waterfall from the north will likely be impacted by dry conditions as well. Canadian prairies were also going through drought conditions, but not nearly as bad as what we experienced in North Dakota. On the migration side of things, uh, we do expect uh, uh, some struggles there as well. There are some positives with wet and dry cycles for our state's wetlands. It's very important for wetlands to dry up uh, periodically um, through a natural drying and rewetting process. It just really helps maintain their productivity. Waterfall hunters should be aware of one regulation change when hunting geese this fall. Just a slight change to, to goose hunting hours where typically we would have been uh, closing at 1 p.m. Uh, most days of the week. However, this year we're just going to start right away with 2 p.m. so that we're not changing um, midway through the season. Sabansky says goose numbers should be good this year, but overall waterfall hunters should temper their expectations. Hunting opportunities are going to be limited uh, not only by fewer ducks in the air, but also by fewer spots to go hunting just because of dry conditions. Before hitting the field this fall, hunters should check the Fire Danger Index at ndresponse.gov for updated county off-road travel and burning restrictions. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.